Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at optionalpha.com and in this video we are going to talk about the volatility index or more commonly referred to as the VIX, the VIX. So what is the VIX or the volatility index? Well, the VIX is simply just the ticker symbol for the Chicago Board of Options Exchange Market Volatility Index. And what it does is it measures the implied volatility of S&P 500 index options. That's really it uh, in a nutshell. You may hear it referred to as the fear index or the fear gauge, but all it's simply doing is measuring implied volatility. So here's actually just a comparison chart of the VIX and the S&P 500 index to you so you can see how they relate to one another. But generally speaking, the more volatile the market is, the higher the VIX. That's really the gist of understanding the VIX at this point. So you can see that as the market starts to become more volatile, more erratic, particularly near 2000 for the S&P, then the VIX started to increase in price near 30. More notably, during the last market crash, where the market really came down off the highs on the S&P, you can see that the VIX was nearing the $80 mark uh, on a daily basis. So you can see that the more volatile the stocks are becoming and the more volatile options are, the higher the VIX price is. It's definitely calmed down since then, but we've had some different pricing uh, recently and again, more spikes in volatility of late. So the volatility index, getting into some more rough details about it, the VIX is quoted actually as a percentage points and translates very roughly into the expected change in the S&P 500 index over the next 30 day period, which is then annualized. So again, I know that's a lot to take in, so let's use an example. So if the VIX is trading right now at a price of 15, this represents an expected return of 15%. But again, that's annualized. So that equates to a 1.25% change on average, up or down, just a 1.25% swing in the market over the next 30-day period. So you can see there's actually pretty low reading on the VIX. A VIX of about 15 meaning about 1.25% over a 30-day period. That is not a big change in the market. We've actually had those types of trades recently at the time of this video. We've had moves of 2 to 3% on a daily basis. So VIX at 15, that would be a very, very low VIX or low volatility environment. Again, some important notes about the VIX. The VIX pricing is calculated using near-term and next-term options for the S&P 500. So again, this is the first and second month of expiration. When there's less than 10 days to go in a month, so for example, when there's less than 10 days to go in this expiration period, then the VIX calculation rolls or jumps to the next set of contract months. What it doesn't want to happen is that we don't want to count those 10 days where pricing becomes a little bit erratic, and in some cases, actually pricing dries up, so the pricing of the options is not really realistic to what the market expectation is. So that's why the VIX rolls to the next set of contract months. And that's important to understand is that the VIX is always a moving indicator. It's always looking at the next two months out, really. Now, and when you see steady uptrends, you're going to definitely see low levels of volatility because markets are generally just trending and rising. And when the markets are falling, you see panic, which causes high level of volatility. It means that option traders are buying more protection. A put call ratio is actually a really good indicator to help use, and we cover this in other videos as well. But as you start to see the market falling, more panic investors, option buyers start coming in and buying up call or puts to protect their portfolios, which increases implied volatility levels across the board. For more information on the VIX, I definitely encourage you guys to check out the CBOE.com. They are the leader and founder of the VIX uh, index. So they have great information on S&P 500 index options on the VIX. Um, great tutorials, and I definitely encourage you guys to go over there and get more information straight from the source. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please share the video right below here with any of your friends, family, or colleagues on your favorite social network.